You know who I am. I know who you are. Perhaps. But appearances can be deceptive. Yeah. What you're engaged in is blackmail. That is a felony. That's for starters. Appearances can be deceptive. I'm a mere good Samaritan. Secondly, the unauthorized dissemination of classified material is a federal crime. If you ever carried out your proposed threat, you would experience such a shitstorm of consequences, my friend, that your empty little head would be spinning faster than the wheels of your Schwinn bicycle back there. You think that's a Schwinn? <laughs> now, give me the fucking floppy or the CD or whatever the fuck it is as soon and as I'll you be give us the bike. money, dickwad. This is why you called me here. Need a sounder board. Not 100% sure of yourself. Been dating yourself, maybe. Aye. Well, only a human. And I've made it clear for you then. Man of guidance, Don. Business of the soul. So this big conversation gets started up between the boys who suddenly reckon themselves the leaders. They're deliberating as what we should do. Someone says, drop a rock in his head. I'm looking in their faces and I can see they're either scared stiff or clueless. It's all bravado. And it's full on the ground, in real pain. All this chit chat going on, going nowhere. Next thing, one of the priests sees us, sees the fool, tells us not to move and we're done for. We were really done for. Group of boys will always get the blame for hurting the fool. Group of Belfast boys will get a hammering for sure. So it's clear to me in an instant, and I'm down on my knees, and I take the fool's head in my hands and I put him underwater. He's thrashing around a bit to start, so I press down harder until he's drowned. Priest arrives though. He's grabbing me by the hair, dragging me through the woods, promising me a proper hiding. But I knew I did the right thing by that wee fool. And I could take the punishment for all our boys. I had the respect of them other boys now, and I knew that. I'm clear of the reasons, Dom. I'm clear of all the repercussions. But I will act, and I will not stand by and do nothing. You can leave them there if you like. Don't be rolling up the letters to St. John, do you? Looking for a man. Big fella. About your size. What's his name? The name his mama gave him was uh, Daniel Harrison. Sometimes he goes by the name of Potter Dan. Killed a tenant farmer and his son in cold blood. Stole a man's plow horse. Man's wife tried to intervene. Took advantage of her, killed her too. Ain't heard of him. Oh, like I said, he used different names. Had a bullet scar on his uh, left shoulder. Right there. Now, Powder Dan ran with an outlaw named of July Bully. May he rest in peace. He's dead? Yes, sir. How'd he die? I whispered in his ear. How was that? Oh, 
on the field of sin. Amen.